Hello everyone, I'm Captain Gisela Espinoza, the Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer involved shooting that occurred in Newton Division in the City of Los Angeles. You are about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case, so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you are about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised especially for young children and sensitive viewers. On April 30th, 2020, around 9.40 p.m., officers assigned to Newton Division were patrolling in the area of 23rd and Wall Streets when they saw a vehicle back up and collide with a parked vehicle. The suspect's vehicle did not stop at the scene of the traffic collision. Instead, it continued westbound in the alley on the 2200 block of Wall Street. The officers followed the suspect's vehicle into the alley. When the vehicle stopped, three suspects exited and started running. One of the suspects, later identified as 28-year-old Daniel Hernandez, ran towards the officers and removed a handgun from his waistband. That is when an officer-involved shooting occurred. The officer set up a perimeter and requested assistance of Metropolitan Division K-9 officers. A search team led by K-9 officers and an LAPD K-9 tracked and located one of the suspects later identified as 31-year-old Jose Hernandez, hiding in the rear yard of a residence. During this encounter, the canine bit him on his left arm area. The suspect was ultimately taken into custody without further incident. The third suspect, later identified as 30-year-old Anthony Villegas, was also found hiding nearby and taken into custody without further incident. Most marked vehicles assigned to patrol have a camera mounted inside, which activates when the emergency lights are turned on. They can also be manually activated. Like the body-worn video cameras, these digital in-car video cameras also have a two-minute buffer of video without audio. Upon activation, the camera goes back two minutes and starts recording. Here is the digital in-car video from officers that responded to the call.
Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within the line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officer saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly when an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here now is the body-worn video from the involved officers. Wall Street. 222 Wall Street, get a backup. C3, let me get a backup. 222 Wall Street. Hey, it's your fucking ass. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Drop the gun, man. Yo, hey, put it out, put it out. C3, shots fired. Shots fired. Officer needs help. Officer needs help. Are you good? Yeah. Stand by, dude. Third and wall. Officer needs help. Third and two and wall. Hey, let me see your hands, sir. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. He's right there. Hey, watch, watch that door. Watch that door. Watch that door. Hold on, bro. You good? Are you okay? All right. Let me see your hands, man. Lay down flat on the ground. Flat on the ground. Flat on the ground. Don't move. Articles under his head. Articles under his head, dude. Watch your back, okay? Yeah. Hey, go that way! Hey, go the other way! Watch up here, too. Have units respond any direction, north-south, dude. Z3, have units respond in any direction. Any direction. Go inside! Go inside! 13 z 13Z3, verify your location. 13Z3, we're on Wall Street, north of 2-3. Have units respond north or south. We're gonna be at... 222 Wall Street. You okay, dude? Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Are you in? Right here, right here, right here. Current location is 222 Wall Street. Article's right there, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna take over the air. Article's right there, sir. Okay. He's right under it. 23rd. Sir. We have two outstanding suspects. Two outstanding suspects? This guy's got an article right under him. Okay. Which way did they run? They ran inside. Okay. They ran in here? Yes. You need to respond northbound from 23rd. Okay. Oh. Two or north of 2 Street. Maple. Yeah, two outstanding suspects. So he went into, went into the northbound from the car? Hold on. I'm going to set everything up. Hold on. Right. Hey, get a tube, get a tube ready. Get a tube and a shield if you can. Okay, I'm gonna reload, bro. You're good, bro. Yeah. Two one in Maple. Two one in Wall. Two three and Maple. Two three and Wall. And Wall. Don't move up on her yet. Right, yes, sir. You good right there, boy? Yeah, yeah, bro. Hey, grab the tube. We're going to replace Kev. You're going to replace okay. Mac. Let the tube go first. On He's hand. lying on the article. Hey, the article's still there on his right hand. Tube, get up there. Do not, do not move yet. Let's get a shield. Yeah. yeah. Hey, sir, can you get a shield if you can? Yeah.
Who's primary? Okay. Who's That's primary? us, sir. That's us. You guys shot fired? Yes. You guys both fired? Yes. These are my... Want to uh, replace them, get the shooters? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, I got three by the way. You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And then let me get another unit, uh, mid block on uh, two one between. Uh, you guys come over here. And, uh, I'm gonna get to my way. Yeah, yeah. Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! He's right there. Watch, watch that door. Watch that door. Watch that door. Hold on, bro. Yeah, 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 bro. I'm good. Let me see your hands, man. Lay down flat on the ground. Flat on the ground. Hey, flat on the ground. Don't move! Articles under his head. Yeah. Articles under his head, dude. Watch your back, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, go that way! Hey, go the other way! Watch up here, too. Have units respond in any direction, north-south, dude. Z3, have units respond in any direction. Go inside! Go inside! 13 Z3, we're on Wall Street, north of 2-3. Have units respond north or south. We're gonna be at 2-2-2 Wall Street. Yeah, yeah, brother. Right here, right here, right here. Hey, post the shop up. Sir, articles right post there, shots fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna take over the air. Articles right there, sir. Okay. He's right under it. Sir. We have two outstanding suspects. Two outstanding suspects. This guy's got an article right under him. Okay. Which way did they run? They ran so inside. Okay. Did they ran in here? Yes. So he went into he went into the northbound from the car. Hold on. I'm gonna set everything. Up. Hold on. Roger. Hey, get a tube, get a tube ready. Get a tube and a shield if you can. Kev, I'm gonna reload, bro. Roger. You good right there, bro? Yeah, yeah, bro. Hey, grab the tube. We're going to replace Kev. You're going to replace back. Let the tube go first. He's lying on the article. He's lying on the article. Tube, get on that. Do not, do not move yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sir, can you get a shield if you can? Yeah. Hey, he's lying under the article, so he's right hand. Right hand. Hey, the, hey, the article's right under his right hand. Hey, we
we still have two outstanding suspects. They ran northbound from the car right in front of our shop, okay? Who's primary? Okay. We're the primary. So, 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 you guys shot card? Yes. yes. You guys pull card? Yes. You know okay. Want to play for the shooter? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You good one? Yeah, yeah, really okay. good. Okay. Well, then let me get another unit, uh, mid-block on uh, 2 one between, uh, You guys come over here. And, uh, wall. I'm gonna get them away. Okay. Where are you making your approach from? Your left or your right? I'm making them left. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go around. I got left arm, you got right arm. I got right, you got left arm. You got right arm. Right hold, hold, hold. Oh, right. oh, let's go. Let's go. I got this one. I got this one. Watch the gun. Watch the gun. Give me the gun. Fuck. You got it? Got it. Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded to the scene and pronounced Daniel Hernandez deceased. Jose Hernandez was transported to a local hospital where he received treatment for a bite to his left arm and he was cleared for booking by the attending physician. Anthony Villegas and Jose Hernandez were both transported and booked into a LAPD jail facility. Investigators recovered Daniel Hernandez's loaded semi-automatic handgun at the scene and booked the gun as evidence. Daniel Hernandez was a 28-year-old resident of Los Angeles. On May 1st, 2020, Anthony Villegas was booked on a probation violation. Both Villegas and Jose Hernandez have been released from custody and charges are pending against Jose Hernandez. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. They will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. 
After the investigation is completed, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you would like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit LAPDonline.org, where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.